Hello everybody, Buddy Webb Midland, Texas. I got an incredible story today. This is back, uh, it happened right after I, I had survived the murder attempt. And, and it's this rude, threatening message from my HR manager at my company of 28 years. I was a company man 28 years when, when somebody broke into my home, cut my phone lines, and shot me. And and so here, I'm just going to got a short read here. It says, DCP Midstream HR Manager Shana Troyer. DCP Midstream, DCP stands for Duke Conoco Phillips. It's a major oil company. This is a gas company, but the gas company, DCP Midstream, is owned by Duke Conoco Phillips, Duke Energy and Conoco Phillips. Uh and, and so six months after I was crippled for life due to being shot by surprise with my phone lines cut, I got this rude message and threat from the former HR manager of my company, DCP Midstream. Interestingly, my doctor wrote me a return to work permit, but my supervisor, Dane Wiggins, told me that HR was not going to let me come back to work and I was being placed on LTD, aka long-term disability. He was then laid off. The year before, I had reported five co-workers to Dane because I believe they knew who was breaking into my home, and I now believe they knew this because they had been to the old show parties held in the secret underground home in my backyard. They were also laid off, and I'm sure Dane reported that to HR. This led me to suspect that Shana Troyer, that HR manager, also knew about the old show parties and violent crimes connected with them, which includes a young girl that I was told about being murdered at a 2010 old show party and also the capital murder attempt on my life where they broke in my home, cut my phone lines, and shot me by surprise. A large group of Midland police were involved in that premeditated murder attempt. It's proven they were under my home. Davis, Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and L. Somebody just asked them. Law enforcement needs to visit with Shana Troyer, and if she denies the truth, then arrest her. Spend, spreading life-destroying lies about a, about a crime victim uh, to cover up a premeditated capital attempted murder is a crime. It's now proven that I wasn't shot with my gun, which what makes me the victim of this premeditated murder attempt, and multiple proofs show that underground homes are here. One of them's in my backyard. That's where it's believed the oil show parties were going on, and like I said, my company was owned by major oil companies. Here's Shana. She wrote on my Facebook, Buddy, I don't appreciate my name being associated in your batshit crazy lunatic ravens. Keep in mind, I'm the survivor of a murder attempt. Should you try to say I was complicit in any murder attempt to get you, I'll be getting a lawyer for defamation. I highly doubt there was any gap in my Facebook, etc., etc., etc. Anyways, here's Shana, my HR manager, calling me crazy. That was the lies spread to cover up this premeditated murder attempt of my life, and they no longer work, okay? And, and here, let me show you something else that happened here. Uh, this was... a. Uh, about two years after the murder attempt, I'm put on long-term disability. The insurance call company calls me. That's what I'm going to show you. I recorded this phone call, and here's what they say. And I got a feeling HR Sorry, was involved yeah, in this. What are you talking about? Uh, in, in regards to there was a clinical review that was done in the appeals unit uh, with a consulting psychiatrist that felt that you were, from a psychiatric standpoint, impaired from performing your occupation where do I where do I get a second opinion on that um, uh, I mean because you know I mean you know it's not that I don't want to be paid because I'm disabled because my my foot is disabled but uh, but but I would have to disagree with a psychiatric evaluation it's a it's a long story you know I was shot inside my home, okay, and and two weeks after I reported a suspected smuggling tunnel to the Midland DA and the El Paso DA, and I can prove it, and they never showed up, and I'm shot from ground level, and then when I'm in the hospital, a group of police get caught inside my home that night, disabling cameras, searching my drawers, still on evidence, and staging the crime scene, and they are the ones who uh, called me basically mental okay but you can see that they were caught as an accessory to capital 10. 
Okay, so they were caught to assess her to capital attempted murder of Tony. And 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 amazingly, I posted that video on, on YouTube and Facebook right after I recorded them calling and smearing my name like that, trying to call me crazy to cover up this failed for-profit murder, right? And believed really probably to cover up all the other murders and, and crimes here. I was told four was coming on. And and all of a sudden they changed their mind and 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 you know didn't make me homeless and hungry, you know, because that's what they were trying trying to do is make me homeless and hungry and, and, you know, and leave me without any income. And after I had reported these co-workers right here, and, and so, uh, I just want to show you, I got one other Facebook post right here before that. And, and so the big question is who shot you, buddy? Well, I don't really know the answer to that, you know, but he, here's one suspect right here. Who did Donnie Cobb, uh, shoot in Midland, Texas? Heather O'Donnell from Hobbs, New Mexico, told me that somebody was getting into the attic of her Hobbs home. That's in Hobbs, New Mexico. And their former boyfriend, Donnie Cobb, told her that him and her friend shot somebody in Midland. But she didn't say who they shot. Okay? And and so I've wondered here. I'm going to show you the print screen of that. Here's Heather talking to me. It says he tried to kill me with drugs. His name is Donnie Cobb. Uh, I think this is a sex trafficking ring. I think she's right. Okay, and when Donnie was drunk, this is what she told me. Him and his friend shot a guy. And I said, in Hobbs? And she says, in Midland. And that's what made me wonder if Donnie Cobb wasn't the one under my home shot me. And it's also wondered if Donnie Cobb is related to the mayor of Hobbs, Sam Cobb, who's a wealthy uh, uh, elected official over there, and the police were trying to do him a favor and cover up this premeditated, for-profit, capital-tempted murder. And and so, uh, you know, there's a suspect, but, but Shane and Troyer obviously knows something about these underground homes and the murder attempt on my life, and that's why she was trying to smear my name, uh, defame my character in the public when I'm the crippled victim of a home invasion murder attempt. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.